So hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. Now today I am unboxing the Doctor Who The Collection Series 14. Now also released yesterday, because both of these are coming a day late. Was this the Doctor Who The Complete Series 12 of Modern Who? Um, so if you want to see an unboxing of this, go check it out. It's only my last video. Also, I want to quickly say a big thank you to everyone who's been checking out my podcast. We've just hit a thousand listeners and it's amazing. And um, thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel lately. It's been a great time. Really been enjoying myself. And I got a great little contest going on at the minute to celebrate this channel reaching 2,000 followers. Um, there's been live streams all the time. There's one tonight, only in a few hours. Very excited about it. So a uh, big thank you to everyone. There's links in the description to um, my podcast, Facebook page to it, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you so much for for everything, for watching. I feel like I'm ending the video. Um, <laughs> my words are coming out a bit quick, so I really want to get on to talking about this. Uh, so this is Doctor Who uh, Series 14, The Collection, uh, Tom Baker, uh, his third season as the Doctor. Now, these sets are particularly fun for me. I've been buying them since the very first set. This is not the reprint. This is an original. I pre-ordered this um, when it was coming out, and I've been getting them as they come out. They're great for me because I like classic Who, but I've never taken the time to look at it. So not only do I get these beautiful sets, but I get to watch these things for the first time, and they're a great time. I've got them all. I've pulled out series 10, 12, 18, and 19, so that we can slot this one in the middle and see how it looks, um, you know, when it's with them. Um, now this set, because of the old coronavirus, which is going on at the minute, the pandemic, this has already gone up a lot in value. So I'm hoping this is in good condition, because if it's not, I really don't know what I'm going to do. So let's have a look. A little bit nervous about this one because as i say it's not like the past um copies of this one because normally they get really hard to get after a couple of weeks of them being out so there's a little bit of leeway time not the case with this one if this one's damaged or anything it's a bit like well live with it or pay a lot of money to get it fixed And it is all fine. I think the inner plastic bit is it's definitely come loose, the inner plastic bit. That happens a lot. You can hear it. <laughs> they do come. It's one of the flaws of these boxes. But here it is. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let me take this out to shrink quickly. Because I don't want to get the glare on it while I'm showing you guys stuff. Pretty exciting day for Dog 2 fans. Well, yesterday was. I'm just a day late. <laughs> Two Doctor Who items in one day. Very exciting. On May the 4th. So a good fan day for us um, sci-fi fans in general. Wow, this is very nice. I'm a bit worried about this inner stuff though. I'm wondering if they even bothered to put sticky stuff on it. Here's the cover. Absolutely love this. Lee Bindings does a fantastic job with this artwork. Absolutely incredible. Here's the spine. Here's the back. Let you guys just pause and have a read. Of it if you need to there. Other side. Bottom. And there is the top of the box. Now I'm a little bit eager to get in this one because I want to see what the damage is. But the outside is flawless. It's come perfectly. Okay. Maybe it wasn't as sliding about. I'm not sure what was sliding about in there because this is all of a sudden fi fixed in really nice. So anyway, open it up. Oh, no, it, it is this. It definitely is this. I think. I'm not sure. Something's a bit loose here. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But anyway, let me flip this around quickly. There's the back. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. The artwork on these sets is just out of this world. Lee Bynes does a stellar job. Um, oh, there's a disc loose. There's a disc loose. Let me quickly pop that in so it doesn't get scratched. Even though it's probably coming to post completely loose the entire time, so it's probably scratched to hell already. Um, so here's the first disc. Doctor, and is that Sarah Jane? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Sarah Jane. Um, disc two. The Doctor and whoever that is. Disc three, Doctor in one of those traditional Time Lord costumes. Very cool. 
think this is the follow-up companion to Sarah Jane. Um, I forget what these are called. I, I, I used to actually have a toy of one of these as a kid. <laughs> Even though I'd never seen Doctor classic Doctor Who before. Ah, oh, that's the disc. I see. A little bit of plastic has cracked there. This disc. Oh, sorry. It still clips in. And it's not scratched. That's the disc that was loose. Weirdly, I had a toy of this guy as well. With um, a big knight looking thing. So I'm guessing I'm going to see that in this season as well. Which is pretty exciting. The last disc, of course, is just the TARDIS. And at the back there, we've got... Mr. Tom Baker. And it's nice, they've used the same back pitch there that they used for Series four, uh, 12, which is really nice. So in here, of course, TARDIS doors open. Oh, I love this TARDIS interior because they've all been a bit similar. But this one is very different. Look at that. That is cool. That's the best in a bit yet. Yeah, That's great. Absolutely love that. I really, I really withheld myself from um, looking at pictures of the box yesterday. So this is all still new to me. This is great. Pop you there for the minute. This is a thick book. So I'll just flick through this. If you want to look at any pages in detail, just pause the video, okay? I'm not going to spend any time really on them. I'm going to go through them pretty quick. Some absolutely beautiful artwork in there. Um, so while I'm flicking through this, I'll say um, I'll talk about Series 26 a bit quickly because I unboxed that. That was the last set that came out, of course, the Sylvester McCoy one. Last ever season of Classic Who. Um, I didn't really enjoy the first two episodes <clears throat> much. I thought they were okay, nothing too special. But I really enjoyed the later two episodes in that set. Um, so far, I, I would say my favourite seasons of Classic Who have definitely been Series 10 and 12. And as this one follows very shortly after Series 12, I'm expecting to enjoy this set a lot. Um, so that's very cool. Um, what box am I hoping to get next? That's always another good topic. Um, I, well, I don't really know Classic Who too well. Uh, I've seen the odd couple episodes outside of these boxes. So I'd probably say I'd like to get Series 20 next. Because I believe that's the 25th anniversary um, season. Doctor Who, there's a lot of returning villains in it. Um, the Five Doctors should be in that set. And I've seen The Five Doctors. And um, it's the only DVD of Classic Who I ever bought. Because I really like that episode. I just, I, I think it's just because you had these great personalities of um, John Pertwee, Patrick Trout and, and Peter Davison bouncing off each other. So I think I really enjoyed that. And of course, um, I'm not sure on the actor's name who played the first Doctor in that one because uh, William Hartnell had passed away at that point. But it was really nice. So I really hope we get Series 20 next. But um, yeah, so there's the book. It's This is definitely the thickest book yet. This one feels thicker. I love this cover as well. Just get another look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, so that that is pretty much the Series 14 box there. It's absolutely stunning. Um, these boxes are are the best thing that the BBC is releasing at the minute in terms of like um, Blu-rays. Um, and it's definitely the best thing com coming out Doctor Who wise at the minute. It's even better than the um, show, the, the actual, what the, the current state of the show. So BBC, if anyone's watching, please don't ever stop making these. These are fantastic. I'm super excited um, to see what's coming next. I really hope that just because of coronavirus, um, you don't not announce the next one. I don't mind if it gets delayed, but I, I would like to know what the next one is. It's always exciting. So hopefully we get an announcement soon. Let me put this in. Let me just compare these to the other Tom Baker covers. I mean, look at this. They're just so uniform. They look so amazing. Um, <clears throat> let me put it in. The, I noticed that this one's PG. Um, so I think they're going to get a bit messy with the old PG and the 12 plus logos. But other than that, look at this. It looks absolutely how incredible does that look? I, I don't. I sorry. I don't have the, the 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 strength to hold all of the sets here anymore because they're so big. Um, but wow, what a set! I'm really happy with that. Um, so thank you so much for everyone who's uh, for watching. 
make well i would say pick up series 14 but it's already out print and already gone up in price a lot um but all i'll say is, is hey if you can get hold of it do so um it's a great looking set it's beautiful uh lee bindings keep doing what you're doing bbc please keep releasing these they're fantastic um so thank you so much for watching guys uh don't forget there's a live stream happening later on tonight don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video leave a message check out all those links in the description and i'll see you guys next time for another video bye bye